the absurdity of self-love is that we have it. We give it up and then we strive to gain it back for the rest of our life. We are born with self-love. We are born with the feeling that we deserve to be loved, deserve to be cared for, deserve all the kindness, deserve all the acceptance, no matter how we behave. We believe that we are amazing. You don't see a baby thinking, hmm, maybe I should stop crying at night because daddy needs to work and mommy needs to get some rest. No, we cry because we feel like we deserve the attention. We feel like we deserve to express what is wrong. And so we don't even question that there's anything wrong with us crying. We are pooping, we are drooling all the time, we are with our bellies out and we don't tell ourselves, oh, I'm too fat, I should do some baby exercises. Oh, I'm drooling too much, oh my god, people will think I'm a freak. No, we just automatically do it and we expect to be loved regardless. So what happens? <laughs> what happens is that life hits us. And eventually, if our parents do not accept us the way that we are, as little children, we will eventually develop certain aspects of our personality to gain their acceptance. That means we might become overly kind, overly nice, because our parents might tell us, oh, if you're bad, if you're acting up, if you are too loud, um, you're bad. And so we develop this personality trait of being always kind, always the nice one. Or we might become charming. We might become the funny one so that we get the attention, so that we get the acceptance of others which we don't get otherwise. We might become the attractive one, right? Who is trying to gain attention to being attractive. The smart one who is always on top of things so that we can gain the acceptance, the attention of our parents, the acceptance of the people around us, the people that we care about. And so we start developing these different personality traits which are not even authentic to us. We start putting on these different masks to feel accepted by others, to feel loved, to feel acknowledged, to feel respected, and so on. And in the process, we feel more and more detached from ourselves. In the process, we start feeling like we are more and more unlovable because there are always people who still do not accept us, who still do not love us the way we want to, who still do not give us the respect that we crave or they only give it to us temporarily, occasionally. And so you always feel like you need to work so hard to gain the acceptance, to gain the love from others. As you gave it up, right? And eventually, this starts developing into different addictions. Addictions such as porn, drugs, alcohol, but also addictions such as being a workaholic, sports, getting into a relationship after relationship, shopping to fill this inner need. We develop these different addictions to escape the pain of not being good enough. The pain of not being fully accepted. But also to actually gain temporarily love, to gain temporarily acceptance. Because when you are a workaholic, for example, you will most likely get acknowledged. You will get rewarded. And so you deserve this temporary respect, this temporary love, this temporary feeling like you are actually important. Or when you are an alcoholic and you need help, you will get a lot of care, a lot of attention from the people around you who are trying to help you. And so it is always filling a need. It is a form of escape but also kind of a safety net. And so we need to become aware. The key to self-love 
the key to unshakable self-worth is self-acceptance. And I don't mean just accepting your current situation, but accepting yourself when you take all your masks off. Accepting yourself when you are no longer the kind person. When you are no longer playing the smart one. When you are no longer the one that needs to be taken care of. Accepting yourself the way that you were as a child. With all the good parts and the seemingly bad parts. Only then you can truly find yourself. Only then you can truly find your purpose and who you truly are. Because it is all encoded in who you were initially, before you put on all the masks to please society, to please your parents, to please your role models, right? And so we need a great amount of awareness to develop acceptance. And so we need acceptance to develop self-love, to become free. Because after all, accepting ourselves gives us freedom. To be whoever we want to be. We are no longer constricted by the expectations of the society. And that is where true joy comes from. From being yourself at all times. From not having to play a role. And so how do you start accepting yourself? Well, that is a question that I will answer in my next video. So stay tuned. I will share it with you tomorrow. Please like this. Comment below if you want to accept yourself. Please share this with others. And of course, subscribe if you have not already so that you don't miss any of my videos. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned for how to start accepting yourself. Take care. Bye-bye.